So here's something. Uh, oh, by the way, I want you to make sure you make Locked On Sports today your second listen every day. The biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day available on Odyssey YouTube, everywhere you get your podcast from. So here's some words I never thought that I would say in my lifetime. I wouldn't be opposed to having Caleb McGarry back next year. Now, McGarry is without question having his best season as a pro. Want a stat? Let's get into a little bit of fun metric stats, okay? Among all tackles in the NFL, the highest graded run blocking tackle in the NFL is Trent Williams. Well, that's no surprise. Hell, he's a Hall of Fame caliber player, first team all NFL every year. Guess who's number two in the NFL in run blocking? Caleb McGarry. Think about how much better. And, and look, this was always the profile for McGarry when he was coming out of college. The profile for McGarry was speed guys will run r- around him. He'll have trouble coming off his first step and trying to catch a guy coming off the edge on him. Okay? But if he gets his hands on you, if he can grab you, he'll move you where he wants to put you. You won't out-physical Caleb McGarry. And we saw, I give him a lot of credit. Look, we saw in the offseason, right? We saw the pictures heading into training camp, right? He looked like Thor, right? Gotten bulked up. He's healthy, ready to go. They didn't pick up his fifth-year option, right? And he's come out. And in this system, he's played like gangbusters. Now, to be fair, he still has trouble with those guys coming off the edge. You know, his run blocking grade is a 90.5. His pass blocking grade is 66.2, which if you're in a limited offense like the Falcons are, that's not a bad number. 66.2 is doable when you have the kind of offense that the Atlanta Falcons have. What would scare me, though, is if we start to become a little bit more heavier passing, because right now the Falcons are still the only team in the NFL that is more run than pass. They're the last offense hanging on and clinging on by a thread, that they're the last offense in the league that is more run than pass. You start to turn that a little bit, that's where I get scared about McGarry. But I think that if you look, if you don't, if the Falcons look out there and it's not impressive in the free agent market, or I I would still say this, I have no problem with spending another second or third round pick on a tackle and develop him. Because here's how I would do this, me personally. I'd bring McGarry back next year, but I'm giving him, and if he doesn't want this, then hasta lasagna, don't get any on you. I'm bringing him back for two years. I'm going to give him a two-year deal. You're going to still be on a show-me two-year deal. I want to know that you didn't just ball out in your final year because we didn't pick up your fifth-year option, that you didn't just ball out because you know you're going to hit free agency and go try to cash in. So I'm not giving you four, five, seven. I'm not doing anything nonsense go like that. I'm going to give you two years to show it. Then we can talk. Play well for the next two years. Okay, then we can have a discussion about staying around longer. I give him two years. That's not good enough. Asta lasagna, don't get any on you. I got free agency money. I'll go draft. I'll go do whatever I've got to do. And I never thought I would say that I would be good with bringing Caleb McGarry back, but I'd be good with bringing Caleb McGarry back. That right-hand side of their offensive line has thrived in the run game. Lindstrom is the best guard in the NFL going right now. With all due respect to my good friend, Hugh Douglas, Chris Lindstrom's the best guard in the NFL. If he's not, forget Pro Bowl, because I don't even know what the Pro Bowl is anymore. They got this whole fakakta stupid thing for the Pro Bowl. Like they're going to throw darts and play mini golf at the Pro Bowl now. But first team all pro, Lindstrom better be the first team all pro guard. He better be one of the first team all pro guards on that list. He's played outstanding this year, and I give McGarry credit. He has been terrific in the run game. That's why that play down at the goal line, the Commodores, when Mariota's going to throw and all that, well, he was open. That's not your best play. I don't care if he was open. 
When you're down there, that's not your best play. Your best play to run on offense is to give it to a running back and run it on the right-hand side of your offensive line. That's where all of your strength is. That's Thor. That's the Hulk. That's running right behind those guys on the right-hand side of your offensive line. Don't get cute. Don't bring out gimmicks. Don't be Doink the Clown. Don't be fake Razor or Diesel. Run it right behind your right-hand side of your offensive line. Any short yardage play, anytime you need two or three yards, I'm coming right behind those two guys. And again, I'll say I, I have my concerns about McGarry in an offense that starts to get more pass heavy because there are still times, remember the Rams game, you know, one of the big reasons why Mariota couldn't huck it downfield and he took that sack was, well, McGarry whiffed on his guy. <laughs> the guy came right around McGarry and he whiffed on him and never even got a hand on him by and large. So that still scares me when it comes to how well can he be a hold up as a big time pass blocker. And look, let's be honest. Between Mariota, now Desmond Ritter, you got some quarterbacks who are mobile. So if you have some guys who are mobile and can help kind of run out of some sacks, then maybe McGarry doesn't look as bad because McGarry was dreadful last year, pass blocking. He's a dreadful pass blocker, and he's been a bad pass blocker because all of the things that he profiled in college came true. Funny how, you know, when the NFL spends millions of dollars to, you know, evaluate these players, how a lot of these guys get it right. Drew Dolman, Matt Hennessy, too. Um, anyway, forget all that. Anyway, but I would be in favor. I would have no issue if you told me that they gave McGarry, <coughs> excuse me, a, a deal for a couple of years to come back here and play right tackle. I wouldn't have an issue with that. I wouldn't mind signing McGarry to a couple of years, and then I use some fairly high draft capital, maybe second, third round, and grab me another tackle. Because, again, you're building for the future and everything. You know, all the things that we didn't do when we took, you know, our unicorn instead of taking the things that we need, like Panay Sewell or taking Micah Parsons. Anyway, we won't get into all that. But sign him for a couple of years. Go draft you a fairly high guy to develop. And then let's see what happens. And, again, if McGarry can play well for the next couple of years, let's talk about keeping him around. Or by that time. You have to start thinking about how long does Jake Matthews have? I'm not saying put McGarry at left tackle. I don't know if I want him there, but maybe if I develop my young guy, I can move him to left tackle and keep McGarry at right tackle. I just at the bottom line is I wouldn't have an issue if you told me that they signed Caleb McGarry and brought him back for a couple of years. He's had a terrific season. He's having his best season as a pro. I hope that this is not he's played well because of free agency but I would not have a problem rolling the dice on Caleb McGarry heading into next year to be my right tackle. I want to talk about my friends over at Built Bar. Listen, it's the holiday season, okay? Tough to watch your weight, tough to watch your figure, all that good kind of stuff, right? But you don't want to blow everything completely out of the water, right? You're looking for that low calorie, low carb, low sugar, right? You're looking for something that's high protein, but you want some taste and flavor to it. Built.com is the place to go. So head over to Built.com today. I want you to check out their wide menu of products that they have. We've talked about the protein-infused marshmallow puffs, right? They got all the different flavors, right? They're always coming out with a new flavor every month. So you want berry, cookies and cream, s'mores, whatever. Everything, they got all kinds of different flavors at Built.com. And what's great about them is the high protein, low calorie, low carb, low sugar, gluten-free, all that good kind of stuff that you're looking for. So you need a snack. Listen, I use these things on Saturday morning, do my college football show, sitting there for four hours. I need like a protein bar snack, right? I grab my Built Bars. Head to Built.com today. Check out their wide menu of products. And when you get there and you get that order put together, get to the checkout. And I want you to plug the promo code LOCKEDON15, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, the number one, the number five, LOCKEDON15. Plug that in you get 15% off your order by using the promo code LOCKEDON15. So head to Built.com today, check out their products, check out the newest flavors, put your order together, and put Locked On 15 and you'll save yourself 15% off your order simply by using that promo code. 